Um, you know, as a special needs parent, one of the things we try to do um, is to spread awareness and, and to be an advocate for our son who does have Down syndrome. Uh, part of that means we give a great deal of attention to equip him uh, with every advantage and resource he needs to overcome some of the unique challenges that he faces. Uh, but, but really, it's so much more than that because what we're also spreading awareness of and trying to be an advocate for is, um, is not just our son's special needs, but just as importantly, his special gifting. In other words, our attention to special needs parents isn't just on our son's disability as much as it is on his abilities. Our son's identity as a person consists of a lot more than his Down syndrome. Yes, his Down syndrome is part of it, but I can tell you he is definitely his own character uh, and has his own personality and his own interests and is discovering his own niche in the world. And that's what we want to see, uh, whether it's at church or school or outside activities or Lord willing one day in some kind of work context. Uh, we want Isaac to enjoy the same experiences and to have some of the same opportunities uh, that his siblings are, are, are going to be able to have. Um, but, but I'll tell you, before we expect to see that level of inclusion for him outside the home, we know we want to see it happening in and around the home first. Uh, before any child can become a valued and contributing member of society, guess what? Th they've got to first learn to become a valued and contributing member of the family first, right? It, it, in my opinion, the home is the training ground designed by God to lay the foundations of character and general life skills that are needed to prepare one for the real world. And, and by the way, the foundation of a child's education, in my opinion, isn't uh, reading, writing, and arithmetic, uh, as, as important as those things are. But the foundation of a child's education is, is the formation of uh, good habits and, and a strong character that prepares them for those other subjects of learning. Um, I, I appreciate the following quote by Charlotte Mason, who was a uh, a respected educator in the 1800s who had a lot to say on this subject. And in one of her writings, she says, the, the formation of habits is education. And education is the formation of habits. At another time, she, she writes, the mother who takes pains to endow her children with good habits secures for herself smooth and easy days while she who lets their habits take care of themselves has a weary life of endless friction with her children. In other words, a, a really good solution to avoid having uh, to, to handhold and spoon feed your kids as they grow into adulthood uh, is to teach them to be independent and, and self-managing in their own established routines. Uh, we found as a family that one of the best places to teach our kids, including Isaac, that the kind of daily habits and routines that foster independence is on a farm. I, I mean, if you think about it, what better environment is there to establish routines than on a farm with, with all its chores and planting schedules and milking times and putting up the animals before nightfall and all the rest? Uh, farm life, we found, is a great catalyst for, for teaching daily responsibility. You want to prepare your kids for adulthood, get them, off the, get them off the Xbox every once in a while and give them a job to do. Uh, I, I once heard Bob Doman, who is the director at NACD, which is the National Association of Childhood Development, um, an, an organization that has helped out a lot of special needs families. I once heard him say, in general, the more chores a child has, the better. If I had my druthers, I'd try to raise every child on a farm or a ranch where there are lots and lots of chores to be done. The job we have as parents is to raise our children so they are happy, successful adults. When you give your child chores, you're giving them responsibility. I see kids, as they get more and more chores, become more and more mature, more self-confident, and more capable. Chores are wonderful. I would encourage parents to structure and schedule as many chores as possible. 
I also like what, what Dennis McGuire has, has uh, said, speaking on the importance of habits and routines, or what he simply described in one of his articles as established grooves. Um, Dennis McGuire served several years at, at the Adult Down Syndrome uh, Center in Chicago. So speaking specifically regarding individuals with Down Syndrome, Dr. McGuire has, has written, there are numerous advantages to grooves. They give an important sense of order and structure to people's lives. They also help persons who process things more slowly in a fast-moving world to have some control over their lives. Routines help to organize and manage daily living tasks, which increase independence. Once an activity is learned and becomes part of a daily routine, there is rarely a need for prompting or supervision from others. So there you have it, special needs or not, learning to live with a sense of structure and order can make all the difference in a person's development. In the case of our son Isaac, we're seeing that ring true because alongside his brothers and, and sister, Isaac helps out with the animals and, and helps out in the garden and stacking wood and checking for eggs and digging posts and setting the table and folding laundry and putting away the dishes and, and, and on we could go. And in all of those things, he is learning independence. He, he's learning responsibility. Um, of course, our, our kids have plenty of time for play as well. Playing is just as important a part of development as chores are, but uh, don't underestimate the benefit of consistent daily responsibility. For us, that's out on a farm, but, but whatever your context, include your child and teach them to be more independent. Uh, that, that's all I'm going to say in this video. I hope something here has proven helpful. I invite you to subscribe uh, to our channel if you haven't already. Uh, stay tuned for more videos to come. Until then, God bless and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.